Okay, so so what's going on here? What's the uh... okay, so the the Half Post uh, bus tour? Uh, we're part of something called Listen to America, mm -hmm. and we're going to 25 cities across the U.S. Uh -huh. Not not the East Coast or the West Coast, uh -huh. and also uh, I would imagine that. This is the biggest city we've been in. We're in a lot of smaller cities, like yesterday we're in Akron, then we're in Fort Wayne, Milwaukee, uh -huh. and often the cities that are ignored or uh -huh. left behind or don't really get much attention from the mainstream and what, press. And what are you looking for? What's, what what's we're looking for is literally to listen to people. I think I think post the election there was a this whole idea that actually with media is telling people things, but actually not really deeply listening. Uh -huh. And so we want to. We're conducting hundreds and hundreds of interviews uh -huh. to basically do two things. One is tell the stories of Americans, ordinary Americans, what is what is going on in their lives, what are they passionate about, what are they concerned about. And then secondly, for our own basic needs, which are saying, actually, what are people focusing on? What are the issues they count as important? What should we be doing differently than we're already doing? Wait, in, in how long are you going to be in Detroit here? We're in Detroit uh, for today and for tonight. We've got an event tonight. Uh -huh. um, and then we're off tomorrow. So, I mean, we're not here for a long time, but actually, you know, in a day, you can actually get a lot done. And we got sort of, you know, we're doing sort of 60 to 100 interviews a day. Oh, really? Any uh, any sense of what people are thinking? And, and how, how long have you been on the road now? Been on the road. Uh, this is our 12th city. 12th city. And and I and I think you know there are certain patterns. So like the opioid crisis is definitely something that's on a lot of people's minds. Uh -huh. I, I think the state of America, in terms of this sense of division and people not working together uh, across how about party our lines. Uh, the president comes up, but in, interestingly enough. What happens, I think, and, and I think the point of this is that actually when you get to individual cities, people's concerns are very local. And actually, what, what, and, and part of the reason for getting out of this idea of what national politics is, what's going on nationally, is actually people's con concerns are very, are, are very local and but very important to our community. So we were in Akron last night and we had a debate which was around, you know, around one of the ring roads that is sort of that you know, was built in the 70s, ripped the part the, the city into two halves, and actually, what do we do about it now? So, so you know, that, that is important for that community, but often would never get any national attention. And do you see Detroit is, is having more specific, uh, unique? I, I haven't been involved in the interviews there. I'm, I'm managing it. Okay. Um, but I know that sort of as people have been coming up, yeah, people are concerned about sort of education. People are concerned about social care. Yeah. You know, that people are concerned about what's going on in their community. And, and that's a range of topics, and, and, and I think that, you know, it's like a, it's, it's like a constellation. It's not, it's not one big planet, it's hundreds of planets that are coming together. They're all, all are basically around the same issue, actually, overall, and I think that's about justice, about fairness. You, t you hear those topics coming up time and time again where people are actually saying, actually, what is fair in our society? Who, who's being left behind and how we can, how we can support those and, people? And you've been, you've been to Detroit once before. Uh, any impressions from the city? There's a lot of talk about Detroit over many years. Of first being, uh, you know, the hopeless city, yeah. and now being the comeback city. Uh, any any impressions? Of well, well, what I tend to focus on is the people, okay. and and you know, are the people friendly? Are, are they welcoming? Are they are they happy to talk? And I, you know, what I found is this is a very welcoming city, and and it's got a lot of people who want to who care about the city and want to make the city better. And so yeah. so yeah, I mean, it's got. You know, big problems, big issues, but actually, there's a, there seems to be an energy here. People want a can-do spirit. People wanted to make a difference, and I think at the heart of it, that's what generates change.